This is going to be a video about looking at a Ford Model A distributor and comparing uh, and examining a distributor, looking for some potential things that might be issues. Uh, I've got a good rebuilt one here and one I picked up for sale used recently. Now I need to film pretty quick because it's cold in my garage today. To give you an idea, it's, uh, it's in the 30s, so I'm all bundled up, so let's get going. <clears throat> First, let's look. These are, uh, they have modern points in these distributors. So <clears throat> the top plate has the condenser on top, and these are the modern points right here. So they're both similar in that respect. But let me show you some differences when I looked at the used one that I picked up. Uh, it's got a few problems. I didn't pay a lot for it, so that's good. So first thing is on a good distributor, when you rotate it, so it rotates counterclockwise in your Model A. So when you mount your distributor on your head, rotates counterclockwise. So if you turn the shaft, this is really smooth. It's like butter, very smooth. I don't feel any high points. I don't feel any friction. So that means uh, the shaft and the bushings in here are fitted uh, very well and lubricated. I picked this one up. Uh, first thing I did is I tried to turn it <laughs> and it turns rough. Like I can feel friction in there. It doesn't feel smooth. And in fact, uh, you might be able to hear even the noise. I'm going to be quiet for a second as I turn this. I don't know if you can hear that, but that, that's, so that's not good. That's the first red flag on this distributor. Uh, second thing when I compared it <coughs> is these points. So let's look at the points here. So here's the arm. These points open and close as your uh, distributor shaft turns. So if we look really close here, so it goes up and down, up and down. So this is a, uh, a cam on your distributor. It has four high points or lobes on it. So as each lobe, each high point goes around, there's four of them. It'll bump up those uh, points. Now, I don't have a feeler gauge. Uh, you want to set your points between you know, 18 to 20 thousandths. Uh, if I was doing an exact tuning of the space here, the gap, I would use my feeler gauges. But just looking, eyeballing the points, as I rotate the shaft, it looks like the arm goes up evenly on each of the four lobes. So that's a good sign. The used one I picked up, I looked at the points as well. Now, notice the difference here when I turn the distributor shaft and I look at the points go up and down. It goes up on a few of the lobes, but then one of the lobes, it doesn't go up at all. So here, let me show you that. That one goes up, that's fine. That's up the next lobe, the, right there. like. That barely goes up at all. So um, <laughs> the only ways I can think that's possible is A, somehow one of the lobes on this distributor cam got worn down lower than the rest. And I have no idea how that would happen. <laughs> but probably the other more explanation that's more likely is, oh, I didn't talk. The shaft is probably not centered in here well. It's off-centered and if that's a bit warped or whatever then that could be causing this to not be uh, symmetrical as it turns. So that was the next thing I noticed. So let's talk about if you look inside, uh, so this is another test you can do is there should be no play. So this shaft has uh, bushings inside here and it is basically pressed in. So as I move that there should be like no play. And there isn't. There's like maybe, I don't know, one or two, a few thousand. There's a tiny bit, but really that's in there nice and snug. When I did the same uh, on this, I can definitely feel there's more play. You can even hear a sound. as I. So there's definitely more slack, 
more play in this shaft, which means it'll probably have to be rebuilt. So the distributor body is good. Like it's a good, you can rebuild this distributor. In fact, I could keep many of the parts, the condenser, the arm, the plate, there's the points. I could reuse many of the parts on here, but this used one I bought will most likely need to have uh, pressed in a new shaft bearings and uh, sorry, uh, bushings and reamed, which is a way to kind of fit it uh, snug together. One last comparison, and this is just kind of more for informational purposes. So on this rebuilt one I have, I uh, oh, a few things when it's manufactured. So the body, if you compare the two, you'll see a difference. Now do you see this one has like a flat, it's cast with like this flat metal on the top where these uh, little hinges go that keep the distributor cap on. This one has open, um, it's cast with like these little arms or ears and so it's open as opposed to having a flat metal piece on there. So that was just interesting. And the other thing I noticed is if you flip them over, this one I had that was rebuilt, it's smooth on the bottom. There's no letters or numbers or anything stamped on there. This used one I picked might be hard to see in this light, but uh, it's got some letters and numbers stamped and it says made in the USA on the bottom, right? Now, I don't know if this is an original distributor body or not because many aftermarket manufactured parts, uh, sometimes they stamp things, they put a Ford script on parts and that's not the original. So I don't know if this is original or not. I need to research that, but that was another interesting thing I noticed. So those are just some tips to keep in mind when uh, you're either looking at your existing distributor on your Ford Model A or you're looking at used ones to buy as far as checking them out and see uh, what kind of work they may need.